I'll be demonstrating a new feature in version 7 called the progress meter. Before I get started, I'm going to make sure the feature is toggled on. I'll open my configuration and navigate to G-code under programming. I'll enable the progress meter by checking this box. Then, I'll save the changes to my configuration. Now I'll start drawing my part. I'll keep it simple with just a square, clicking the check mark to accept it, and a circular cutout, also hitting that check. I'll push my part into CAM, where the toolpath is generated, and then move it forward into the CNC module. You can see that version 7 has estimated the program's runtime. This estimate will adjust in response to changes in the feed rate override. This leftmost number is the total time, while the number on the right displays time remaining. This is especially useful on large jobs. Let me go back into the CAM module. I'll open the grid nesting tool to add more parts to my sheet. After the tool runs, I'll hit the check to accept the nest. Once again, I'll push my part into the CNC module and run my program. You can see that the progress meter is ticking down and this quick visual indicator is filling to the other side. Version 7's progress meter is a great new feature that can improve time management and increase efficiency. Thank you for watching. Please contact us if you have any further questions or visit us online at flashcutcnc.com.